Okay, so we got a 2000 Chevy truck. Um, it's a landscaping truck, and uh, they brought it in because they said it's got no spark. Uh, they replaced the distributor cap and rotor, they put new plug wires on it, they put a new coil and crank sensor, I want to say, uh, and it's not, didn't, didn't fix it, so they had it towed up here. Now they want us to take a look at it. So um, we worked ahead a little bit on this thing so we can see what's going on with it. And uh, I want to show you what we found because this can, you know, if you still got a distributor cap and rotor on your pickup truck, um, something like this can save you a lot of time because they were just throwing parts at it and they didn't know what was going on. So I'm going to show you what we found and I'm probably going to put some uh, screenshots of the wiring diagram on there so you guys can see what we're talking about. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so we got the key on right now. And the one thing that we noticed when we were first working on this thing is that the ignition coil was uh, making this funny noise. It was kind of hissing. So this ignition coil wire has got three wires going to it. Your pink wire is going to be your 12 volt. And we want to make sure we got power there, and we do. So the test light lights up. The other thing we want to check is we're going to put our test light on battery positive. And you got two ground wires here. This white with a black stripe is going to be the uh, command to fire from the ignition control module. And right now, we don't have anything because it's not telling it to fire. The one thing we did notice is this white wire is going to be your tack. That's your signal for your tack up on the dash. So we noticed that when you put battery positive to it, it lights up. So the way this circuit is, is that this white and black wire and this white wire for your tack are both spliced together. And what that's going to do, if you have a short to ground, either one's going to tell the coil to fire. So what we did is cut it, and as soon as we cut this wire, this thing started right up. And that's actually the problem. So what they're going to do is they're going to bring it back and have us diagnose the, uh, the short to ground, whether that's in the wire somewhere or whether that's in the uh, instrument cluster itself. So if you know how to read the wiring diagram, it's a lot cheaper sometimes to fix something with a test light than it is to throw a bunch of parts at it because you don't really know what you're doing. So I'm going to make another video here whenever they bring it back and we'll try to figure out where the short to ground is. I just wanted you guys to see it for now. So. Right now it's fixed. I'm just going to tape up the wires so that way they don't make any contact anywhere. Especially this wire because you don't want it shorten out to ground anywhere. But once again, let's see here. Yeah, nothing visually. You can't see any wires anywhere or they're rubbed together. So as of right now, this truck will run and start. But I just wanted you guys to see it. So. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll make another video for you guys here soon.